Hey guys, Bolt Shooter here. So, this is like a after the fact video. Um, I realized that if you guys are fans of the original or the sequels, um, I kind of rushed it versus the prequels. One, I was kind of, you know, getting ready for work. Um, so I didn't have much time to uh, write down that and I wanted to make sure it was just done at that point um so I really didn't have much time and I'd rather just have it done um but basically to, to make it simple basically Star Wars Rogue One was just the start um in the like the pure failure before any of the actual heroes from the original trilogy got together that was the Rebel Alliance um, Rebels is basically telling the same, uh, story that, uh, Jedi Fallen Order tells, um, but with, uh, the fact that Ahsoka is still out there, Maul was still out there, um, and Rex was still out there, um, having Ahsoka ready for the, for another, for her, her being out there for another story, um, having Mole actually finish his business with, with Kenobi, um, setting up the original, uh, trilogy, um, and then Rex being there to be another, um, helping hand, and, uh, being actually strategical and helping the army of the Rebels, uh, win better, and he actually, uh, a thing that was confirmed... Um, was the fact that he was in episode 6 on the Battle of Endor. Uh, Rex was actually the old man with camo. Um, he was, he, like, it wasn't even a thing. Captain Rex wasn't a thing at that point. But, uh, they designed him to fit the bill. And they just named this unknown soldier Captain Rex. Um... And that's kind of basically what Rebels was, was saying, here's uh, more people ready for the uh, Star Wars universe, kind of end some stories with others, um, and here's a beginning and a middle and end of another story. Uh, episode 4, uh, or also known as, you know, Episode 1 to many people, because the original trilogy came out before both prequels and sequels, but, um... A New Hope basically was, um, here's Luke Skywalker, the son of Anakin, um, he's kind of living a normal life, uh, then, you know, Obi-Wan comes up, show, shows him the path that was his father's, um, basically because of the fact that R2 and all that was out there, um, Rebels started, I mean, the Imperials were coming, so they kind of needed to retreat to the Rebel Alliance. Um, and, uh, they get caught by the Imperials. Um, but to save them, they end up, uh, uh, Kenobi ends up sacrificing himself and becoming a Force Ghost. Episode 5 was basically the Battle of Hoth. Um, the betrayal of Lando and giving... Han to Jabba and Vader, and then uh, Luke learning of Yoda's position, getting trained. Hold on a second. All right. So episode five, I've already explained everything. It's just Luke went to Yoda on Dagobah, trying to learn. It's a very force uh, strong planet. It made it easier for him. Um, he didn't finish his training because he felt that his friends were in trouble. Um, he went to go face Vader before he was ready, so he ended up losing. Anyhow, um, both Luke and Anakin get a similarity with Luke losing his hand to Vader. Um, with Vader revealing that he is the father, but, you know, went to the dark side. Um... And then Leia kind of realizing that the brother and sister win 
she feels him and goes to save him. Luke gaining his robotic hand. Um, and then, you know, uh, Luke uh, leading the charge to the Death Star to destroy it, having Vader get demoted. Um, episode 6 is basically uh, sorry, it's freezing. Um, basically, they go and get uh, Han, who was frozen in carbonite, to give to Jabba. Um, they show that Boba Fett, um, the son of Jango, was uh, he became a bounty hunter. Um, he actually leads with anger during this fight and loses uh, to Luke. Yeah, uh, at this point, um, Luke has went on a journey himself, and he's gained both the title of Jedi Knight, and he went back to uh, Kenobi because both his... So the lightsaber from his father, Anakin's lightsaber that Kenobi took at the end of episode 3, um, gave to his um, son with like attachments that were different from the original because he ended up wanting it to be more of a training lightsaber. Because um, basically Anakin made it to where it was a pro lightsaber. So Kenobi made it to where it was easier for him to use. back to Kenobi's hut to uh, make his own uh, handle for a lightsaber, but he has to go and find a uh, materials because he couldn't find any naturally made crystals because uh, Darth Sidious uh, made it that he couldn't. Um, but he makes a uh, fake crystal and then imbues it with his force. Um, and then, uh, afterwards, uh, oh yeah, and then, uh, Kenobi does learn how to become a force ghost during episode five. Um, he shows his training, um, and then episode six is basically just go rescue Han, um, he's blind, Chewbacca stays back, uh, Luke goes to finish his business um, with Darth Vader, um, Vader becomes Anakin because of his son's uh, cries for help, um, and he, he kills the, the Darth Sid he kills um, the Emperor, but before, um, when, when I mean Emperor, I mean Darth Sidious slash Chancellor Palpatine. Um, but anyhow, he throws him down the shaft to his death. Um, because of Darth Sidious having the ability to use Force Lightning, this stops um, Vader's uh, life support suit, making it to where he's almost dying. Luke uh, tries to save his father, but because of his, do um, his body, body's not able to support itself, um, Vader and Anakin die. Um, Yoda does die by Luke's side, next to Luke at bedside because he becomes too old and feeble to move around anymore. Um, they do the Battle of Endor. It's basically the last fight. That's where we see Rex. Um, and then... Uh, trying to think. I think that's really it for episode six. Uh, Lando and uh, Admiral Ak 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 Akbar or Akrins. Um, he's. Uh, they take the Millennium Falcon, the ship of. Han Solo to uh, fight off 
out to destroy the second Death Star, which they're successful. Um, it's half built, so it's easier than the first. Um, and then Mandalorian is basically just. I'm a Mandalorian. I became a. Uh, whew, I became a bounty hunter. Um, at some point in his later life, he was. Uh, he took an oath to not have his face be revealed by any other living being. Um, then uh, he finds out about a youngling who is the species of Yoda, who is strong in the Force, who's only 50, so he's a baby at this point. Um, uh, basically, he, he sees this baby. He's supposed to... Um, Escort him to the to the rest of the uh, the remains of the empire. Um, Cause this is five years after episode six, and uh, he sees that it's his child. And before uh, in uh, an IG eighty eight can kill him, uh, he kills the uh, the eighty eight to save uh, Grogu. Grogu was actually a youngling at the uh, Jedi Temple during Episode 3, but he was uh, rescued and put into hiding. Um, that was basically Episode 1. Episode 2, um, was ba I mean Season 2, was basically uh, them trying to find another Jedi to train Grogu. And uh, the first one was Ahsoka, but she's not worthy enough to become a master to Grogu. So he sends him off to a seeing stone, which is a, a force beacon, which basically tells, um, which makes everyone see um, that there's a force user on the stone. Um, and this alerts Luke Skywalker of his presence. And during this point, he's already trained Princess Leia into a uh, into a spot where she is slightly able to use the Force, um, but he doesn't see see himself as an actual Jedi Master. Um, and at this point, he's searching for information. He senses Grogu. Um, Grogu gets captured by what's the remainder of the Empire. Um, they have dark troopers, which in Legends was the remains of a clone put into a trooper, um, a, a, a cyborg to be the ultimate uh, soldier, but in this they're just uh, very uh, built um, robots, which it seems like the only thing that can break through is either a lightsaber or Beskar, because the only thing that saved uh, the Mandalorian was him using a uh, Beskar uh, spear. Um, but uh, the leader of the remains of the Empire ends up having the uh, dark saber, which means. He's basically the leader of Mandalore at this point. Um, but he, he threatens to kill Grogu. Mandalorian defeats him, so he basically owns the Darksaber. Um, and here's the bad thing is, uh, it was like bo -Kateen. I'm try I, I don't know how to say her name, but she's the uh, sister of the um, late Duchess. Um, who, who she basically wants to become the next Mandalorian leader. And uh, with this, it kind of puts a prick in her step. Um, the last, of course, at the very end, uh, Luke Skywalker comes in, takes Grogu to train him. Uh, of course, he finds out that he's able to... He, Luke becomes a Jedi Master to where he's able to uh, train others. He takes in a whole bunch of younglings, including uh, the son of Han Solo and Princess Leia, 
been so. And then here comes the crappy storyline that is the sequels. Basically, Ben Solo, uh, he he starts going toward the dark side. Luke senses this. He tries to end it because he starts seeing flashbacks of uh, of his father and all that. So he tries to end it before it begins. Um, and, and, and but then Ben Solo catches him, and in his moment of uh, mixed emotions, he destroys the school and kills multiple of the youngins, which at this point we do not know if Grogu died there. Because we did not get a season 3 of Mandalorian yet, or we may not. Um, during the adventures between uh, the training and uh, episode 7, which is The Force Awakens, um, we uh, we find out there was the, the Knights of Rin, which are a, dikes, a dark side um, force users who only use their, their strength in the force to win battles, where they're just flaring, flaring their sabers everywhere. Um, they have no training, so Luke's able to slaughter them, basically. But they have a leader known as Kylo Ren. Um, ben goes to the Knights of Ren and becomes the new Kylo Ren. Um, he's led to another dark side being known as Snoke. Um, and he starts a new empire as such. And, uh, he's actually Chancellor Palpatine who, you know, Chancellor Palpatine is one of the powerfulest beings in Star Wars. He's able to do such a thing. But anyhow, learns that he got his shin digged on during, uh, during the years, and he got he has a granddaughter named Ray who was abandoned on Tatooine to hide her away. Uh, she find, comes upon the BB 8, which is another droid that has information for the rebels. Which, guess what, is half a map to the location of a missing Luke Skywalker. He finds a C3PO with a replaced uh, red service droid arm and an R2-D2 that is um, disabled. Well, she does, because it's Rey, not, not Luke. Uh, but anyhow, R2-D2 reveals that she has the other half of the map. Um, which, together, makes it a full map. So they know where Luke is. Um, Kylo learns of this. I mean, Ben learns of this. And uh, he tries to fight off to get, to get all of the map. Um... And during this, he also kills one of the co-trainers of the Jedi uh, with Luke's Jedi uh, school. He kills him off, and then uh, he fights Rey. Learns that she has some kind of dark side in her, and he wants to tempt her. Um, but of course, she fights him off. Uh, Finn, the only p a good part of the story he's in, is uh, he's a ex stormtrooper who realize that they're nothing but cruel so he decided to go to the rebel side um trying to think um it's kind of hard when you're when when you're kind of not in a room and you're kind of racing um Oh yeah, uh, Ben Solo is uh, wavering between the light and the dark, um, and he learns that there is attachments to the light side is why he's stuck, and he figures out that it's, it's, it's his parents. He cares for his parents still, so it keeps him uh, towards the light side, so he kills Han. Um, and then episode 8 is basically, at the very end of episode 7, they find Luke. Episode 8 is basically, he abandoned the the Jedi methods and wanted to be alone didn't want anything to do with it um but he does join um where he ends up just basically fooling around with Ben and becoming a force ghost um Chewie is captured uh and really there's not much to say 
Um, cause episode eight is kind of all over the place. Episode nine is, is got some, but it's basically Palpatine's alive, uh, reveals that to Ray, uh, that she, he, he's the grandfather, um, tries to pull Ben and her towards the dark side or, you know, kill each other. Um, and basically finds out that, you know, Ben has some, some affection towards Ray. But he, so he, he sacrifices himself, um, killing off, because I believe in episode 8, um, Leia is killed in a, a ship. Um, so basically the entire Skywalker uh, line is dead at this point. Um, Rey is able to defeat um, Palpatine. Um, and she basically goes into isolation to kill off all uh, Sith and Jedi by uh, uh, burying the, I think, Anakin's lightsaber and uh, her uh, yellow lightsaber she found. Or I, I don't know. I never watched the sequels because they suck. Um, anyhow, it's my opinion that it sucks. Um, when you grow up with something... And you see the new things, you kind of get, you kind, you have your opinions kind of uh, leaned towards the old instead of the new. Um, but anyhow, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm saying is basically um, why sequel suck is one. Lucas uh, wasn't a part of it. George could have probably saved that. It would have been amazing, but. Even uh, Mark Hamill, the actor of Luke Skywalker, puts trash on it because it's not his Luke Skywalker. Um, but basically, the reason why the sequels are hated is because the story, it was going in a good place in the first episode. Uh, se is episode 7, which is basically just, well, we did all of the trilogy... Now it's time for new stuff. But it wasn't. It was nothing but reused garble for the last two episodes. And most characters that were beloved were killed off just because they wanted a new story to be shined on. Which, if you guys listen to my story, half the shit that's in those things weren't even covered. And one of the things were the fact that Finn found a girlfriend in Poe Dameron. Neither of which are actually uh, relevant to the story. They're just people that were in a rebel. I think the best thing would be the fact that they destroyed uh, uh, basically Death Star 3.0. Um, Star Killer Base, that's what it is. Yeah, um, that's it. But anyhow, that's it. Uh, I, I may return if there's any actual good stories. Probably for Ahsoka in the Kenobi show. That's probably when I'll return. I don't know if there's going to be any story for the Bad Batch. Because that's just telling a story of uh, mutated clone troopers. But uh, that's kind of all I got to say. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.